How to germinate grass seed faster. So, as part of getting the seed up and running uh, for our two day challenge, I am cheating a little bit, but as you'll see later in the video, I call it circumventing. First of all, I take some really hot water, not boiling water, just very hot water, and I pour all the seed that I've weighed out into it. So once you've got your seed poured into your hot water, you then take a snooker cue, as I have in this case, and stir it up. You can use whatever you want to stir it, but I like a snooker cue. So keep stirring and stirring until all that water is absorbed by the seed. Could take a few minutes. In this case, it took around a minute. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave this to simmer in the hot water for around six to eight hours. If you can leave it eight, perfect. And then that husk absorbs the water and the seed receives a signal for it to start growing. And when you're happy that you've stirred all that water and it's all been absorbed into the seed, just give the snooker cue a quick tap and remove the excess seed. So... I left it for eight hours and it's actually half nine at night now and it's outside. That's why the picture's a little dark. So what I've done is I've took my best sieve out of the drawer that I use to cook with and bake cakes, etc. And I'm just draining off the water off the seed just to enhance the drying time. This is the leftover water from the seed. We're going to save this, bottle it and spray it on the seed when it first comes through because it's got the biostimulants in it. Just another idea to get rid of some of the excess water is that we're going to put the seed into the fleece over the flexi tub that I've taped it round and then I'm going to remove the tape and then wrap the excess fleece into a bomb and press all the water out of it. So now I've squeezed all the excess water out of the seed, it's time to just put it in some tubs and let it dry, turning occasionally just to make sure the bottom section doesn't stay wet. I've put a piece of cardboard in the bottom of there just to see if we can absorb some of that water into the cardboard. Maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. Maybe I should have used kitchen roll or something more absorbent. Um, and as I'll find out later on, maybe I should have done. Now it's time to add the secret ingredient my moon dust this is fulvic and humic acid scraped from the bottom of a dried out glacial lake so this stuff is thousands if not millions of years old it is absolutely brilliant stuff i forgot i had it in the shed so i brought it out today to enhance performance and i'll give you more information on that at a later date now we'd leave the seed for two or three days until the roots start showing, then we apply it. Just had the delivery of the last bag that I need. It's Monday, so I did well to get that today. Time to get it moved. I'll go get my barrow and my shovel and we'll start. So it takes me about 20 minutes to move that tongue bag. Then I rake it out and just do some semi-leveling that we need to get done. Then I get my Jack's Magic. I've got six bags to spread. No problem for a guy such as me. Now, I did get asked by a good friend of the channel. He'd seen some Jack's Magic in the shop and he was concerned it was very compact in the bag and because mine looks really fluffy, but it's vacuum packed. So as soon as you open the bag, the air is then sucked back in and it becomes pliable again. So if you are looking at it and thinking, oh, it's rock hard or it's wet and it's too heavy it's not it's just vacuum packed and as soon as you open the bag it's fine
Right, so have you just seen me spread six bags of Jack's Magic? Well, you didn't see me spread six bags. You probably saw me spread half a bag, but I did spread six bags. Uh, ready to ameliorate in. So I'm just gonna get my fork and I'm literally just gonna go along and fork that in and mix it in best I can. And then we'll start the compaction process. Probably tomorrow now, it's a bit windy tonight and I've lost the will to uh, carry on. I hate the wind, that's my nemesis. If you uh, ever want to get the better of me, just create windy conditions and I thought I'm like a uh, wet digestive. So um, let's get my fork and I'm gonna set my camera up. I still can't find my tripod. I just haven't got a clue what's happened to it. So I have to rig something up with a bin again or something and uh, hope we can get some good angles. So join me in a sec. And when you see me next, I'll have my fork, but I won't be doing any aerating with it. I'll just be mixing in this Jack's Magic into that sandy root zone. Now I've actually left my fork at another job yesterday, I think. So I'm gonna to have to improvise with my edging tool, but it's as good as, good as. Remember, I only use tools that you find in a shed for this kind of work, so this'll do. Right, so I've just done like a mini level in terms of just getting the soil roughly where I want it and getting those levels back again because we disturbed them. Now I'm just going to put you on time lapse again and then you'll see me do my favourite uh, March of the Penguins but I won't do it to Rocky Music this time. I'll just let you see me doing it and uh, you can enjoy it that way because I'm pretty sure you didn't enjoy it last time. So that's done. What I've got to do now is when the wind drops down tomorrow, it's Tuesday today, I'm going to be seeding tomorrow. I've got my seed under preparation at home just to give us that extra little bit of a boost. If you want to call it cheating on my two day challenge, you call it that, but I call it circumventing. What I've got to do, which you'll have seen me just do in the, last, in, <clears throat> in the earlier part of this video was how I did the seed and I've sprinkled my moon dust on. So I'm gonna put some of that moon dust on here before I do my final rake, and then we rake that in. And what that'll do is it'll give us extra nutrient retention and there's humic acid in there and folic acid in there. And what that does, it just helps unlock nutrients, but it also grabs onto nutrients and um, doesn't let them go. So we'll get longer out of our nutrients that we put on. I forgot I had it in the shed actually. Uh, so I'm gonna use it here just because it will give us that extra boost in my trial last year with compost tea and the moon dust the moon dust and compost tea just far out shone compost tea on its own and the control which was just seed so it definitely does add to the uh, effect i'll be bringing that to you shortly so, till tomorrow take care so I'm back today, Wednesday. Weather's a bit better today. It's still windy up there, but in this garden, it's pretty sheltered. So I've got to get on with the seeding because it's chitted in the van. Well, it's not chitted, in, it's chitted in my kitchen, but I've got to get it on because it's on the verge of all getting coagulated in the tubs. I'll show you in a sec. So let's get it out and then give this a final rake just to sort the final levels out and then we'll seed 
and then hopefully get the covers on as well but today it's just about getting that seed down uh, first of all and then if the wind stays down I may, may be able to get some of the sheets on um, but this is all for that two day challenge I put myself under a lot of pressure and uh, I'm getting a bit anxious because it's on the verge of going tits up just because of this weather it's just been chucking it down all week and today is no exception but it's just drizzle uh, but that wind's dropped so these beech leaves aren't falling on I've just blown them all off so hopefully we can get on with it it's not ideal I know that but it's not it's my fault because I, I chitted the seed too early based on the blimmin Met Office weather app which I've fallen out with now so I'm not even going to bother with it in future so let's get my tripod out I've, I've sourced another one Still can't find the other one. And let's get this seed down. So I've just done my final rake there. What I want to do now is I want to spray my compost tea just to get that biology working in there and get the application of Stella going on there as well, I think, just to give things that extra boost for that two day cycle we're going for. Now, what I did hope to do was put um, what you've just seen me put on um, the moon dust, sprinkle that on here beforehand but it's too windy for that it's very fine powder so what i'll do is i'll get the seed up and running and then i'll apply that at a, at a later date just as the seed's coming through and um we won't notice any difference at all because the seed's coated in it it's got some in there and that's the next thing that i'll be uh, promoting because people are always asking me for new products and this is something that i've known about for a long time but i've only just recently found it again because i thought it had become obsolete but it's not so um this is a great product which will revolutionize uh, your lawns baskets tubs veg you name it and but I'll, I'll tell you more about that at a later date but for now let's get the, what we've come here to do and that is get this seed on Just wanted to show you my seed. I don't know if you can see on there. We just see some of the, the roots that are uh, just beginning to come out. If you're gonna do this approach, you've gotta be on the ball because if you leave it just too long, they just create a massive mass. So this is just on the cusp. I probably started the process a day too early to be honest, but that's just like I say, because of the weather. Uh, that was promised and the pro the weather that's come so let's get this on before it starts to uh, mat together but at the minute you see it's still very pliable whereas if it had started rooting all together it just becomes one big mat let's have a closer look see all those little roots coming off now so we're on our way to getting that two-day challenge once down Just put the sheets down. I got these ones off Amazon. Uh, they were six ninety nine, I think, and they just do one run, but with a bit of over, over at the end. So they do do a bit more than what I've used. But they're really thick, actually. I like them, so they got a bit more of um, a warm factor to them, I guess. But I'm not sure water would go through as easy. But we don't need to worry about that today because we're going on it now with the the tarp. So let's get that on, and then we're done. Right. 18th of August, Wednesday, two day challenge. It's 20 past one, so the seed's just gone down. A few challenges with that. The seed, it wasn't wet, it was too wet, it wasn't dry enough, so it wasn't coming out of the spreader, either the drop spreader or the rotary spreader. So I've had to spread it by hand. Um, so this job could yet turn into a bit of a 
disaster because because it was so dark with the uh, the moon dust that I sprinkled on and the compost in the soil is so dark I couldn't really see where I was going so I had to just cut it off into like sections and um, just by eye just try and see where I've been I think I've cracked it but two day challenge it's 20 past one so 20 past one Friday in two days Bolton beat Lincoln last night and just as a reference point so it is Wednesday I know they won last night We've won two on it, uh, one nil at Lincoln. Um, right, it's 25 past one, just five minutes over the two day challenge of can we get grass? Let's have a look. Peeled the covers back, and there we have it green tips in two days. So it can be done after all. We've got laws coming through actually. The more you look, the more's there. So challenge completed, plenty coming through. I don't know if you got a good view of that one there, then look there. Plenty there, just coming through. Lovely. So it can be done if you just put that extra bit of effort in, especially this time of year. Um, what I think I'm gonna do is I've got some really bad rains coming. Um, so I've just got a bit of a dilemma on, do I leave these blue sheets on and then, uh, you know, risk damaging and smothering the new green grass or take them off and risk the heavy downpours we're going to get over the weekend ruining the the seed that we've already put down in terms of like the, the soil washing away and stuff. So that's the dilemma. Um, well, let's have a think about it and then uh, we'll come back to that. I'll cut the lawn and then we'll redress that. Um, I'll probably take the sheets off, to be honest, because the, now it's green. I really don't want to be uh, obstructing that kind of growth because of the, with the weight of the sheet and that, I think it could cause more problems and actually start to kind of kill the new seed rather than help it. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. See you in a bit. So I've decided to take the blue covers off because the grass is coming through and then any water that falls in it now can just go in because what i noticed is where it's been sat on the blue sheet it's just made slight indentations in the in the root zone but when we mow it that'll um iron out those out hopefully that's one of the things you never know is that what damage is done by that but we'll sort it even if it does have undulations in it we'll just top dress it and uh, that will soon sort that out so no worries about that off now we'll revisit monday after all the rain we've had assess the damage then but as far as i'm concerned two day challenge met you can do it you can just follow what i've done in the video i've done nothing else and you too can get grass growing in two days so have a good weekend and i'll see you soon